going on guys, Coach Vic here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a couple drills that you can do in the cage to really optimize your time and make the best of it, be as most productive as possible. I see too many guys coming in and not having a plan, okay? And if you don't have a plan, you're simply just wasting your time. The T is, the T gives you feedback. You see, the T doesn't lie. So every result that you get off a T is the result of your approach is the result of your process of your mechanics okay so if you hit a ball poorly well it was a poor swing okay uh, as simple as that so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you a couple things with uh, an approach and a couple uh, drills that you can do very simple but it's gonna uh, improve the quality and the product productivity of your cage session so what I've done here is I've simply grabbed five baseballs okay obviously I don't have a bucket with me right now but I, if you don't have an L screen you can do this you can still do this in a cage but in this case I have an L screen and so what I simply did was I put the L screen to the opposite side of the cage and what I'm gonna do is I um, using a target so that my target is that top portion of the L screen now I'm gonna focus on each and every rep trying to hit a line drive with backspin into that L screen okay what this is going to do is gonna force you to focus it gives you something to shoot for see if I come out here and I don't have any Thing to shoot for I'm gonna be hitting balls kind of all over the place rolling over popping up hooking balls whatever so this case is going to really focus in my attention on a particular goal okay so watch here let's see what coach Vic can do okay you got a little under it now what I'm gonna do is between each one I'm gonna take my time Guys don't take their time, guys rush between each and every swing, okay? If I take my time, I have the, the opportunity to be able to reevaluate that swing, okay? So I got under it a little bit, I hit it pretty well, got under it a little more than I wanted to, so now I can make that little itty bitty adjustment, right? Between each rep, remember, take a deep breath, take your time, reset. This is just a simple fastball down the middle, nothing fancy. Belt high. Okay, again, same result, okay? Just missed, got under it a little bit. I got my angle down, but I'm just getting under it. Three more, see if I can get three for five. Best I can do. One. Now, even when you do get the right result the result that you're shooting for still take your time pretend that these are at bats in a game so if I got five baseballs and I'm only taking five baseballs for this video I'm gonna pretend each one is that one hit and that I get in the game so when I hit it that's it it's over okay so this is just a simple thing that you can do maybe at the end of your workout uh, to really focus in on the quality over the quantity okay because maybe you've taken 50 to 100 swings uh, maybe even 120 150 swings depending on the level you're at and your experience level um, but it's really important to, to throw in something like this into your cage session okay I got it. Coach Vic got it. Found it. Last one. See if I can go three for five. Oh, I didn't do it. Okay, see? So, hey, anyways, even though I'm by myself, I can make a little bit of a, uh, you make a game out of it and make it a little fun, uh, even when you're by yourself. And uh, you probably know from experience, whenever you're in a uh, team practice or, or an inner squad or something, they're always the most competitive game that's uh, because you're going against your friends so that doesn't mean you can't do that when you're by yourself so when you're in the cage and you're by yourself really focus really create your own game you can move the L screen around and give you a different target if you want to put it pull side put it pull side one round if you want to mix it around put it in the middle whatever like I said if you don't have an L screen you can simply divide the far end of the cage into quadrants this is what I like to do with my college guys I have divide Imagine a vertical line going straight up and down the middle and another horizontal line going straight uh, across from right to left uh, and divide it into one, two, three, 
four quadrants, okay? And then tell your friends, hey, this round we're gonna go for quadrant one, quadrant two, three, or four, right? And maybe you could even make them worth points, create a point system. All these things that you can do in the cage is gonna really improve the quality of your workout. Not bad for an old geezer. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video again. Please remember to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little notification bell to get notified of future uploads. Uh, also, if you have any suggestions or comments, leave them in the section down below. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next video.